Hello, welcome back to Educate Africa, where we are keeping culture. My name still remains a Yua nigga Maleme, simply called a Yua. You know, last time we talked about respect, so that's the part one of respect. And today is going to be our part two of respect. You know, I told you the other time that respect is not just by greeting. It's also more than greeting. It's about your conversation, your communication, your body language with people, you know, the way you react to actions, you know, between people. I will take this quickly and I'll pause. You see, at home, between children and parents, we need to start working on this. You know, in this modern life, we see, you know, our parents can actually talk to their kids anymore, most especially those who are living in Western world, they feel like, you know, the children should have more, more power over their, you know, their parents, which is wrong. I live in England and it says it's a multicultural country. If it's a multicultural country, the, the system should allow all parents to at least groom their children up to the age of 16 to 18. With that, we'll be able to inculcate our right, our knowledge, information, and culture to them. But whereby a child could call on the police and say, my mom, my parents bullied me. So that's, that's wrong. It makes it difficult in Western world. And even in Africa now, a lot of copycat is going on in Africa. We just want to copy Western thing. You know, Western thing is, we, we can't be, we can't be somebody else. We just have to realize that we can't be somebody else. We have to be we. We are Africans. And that's why they don't respect us. All the nations don't want to respect us because we don't want to flaunt our identity properly. We don't want to flaunt what we, we believe in. We just want to start, you know, taking everything that comes from the Western world. We should be able to modernize and preserve our culture, even with education, and civilization, but we shouldn't destroy our culture in any way. You know, between children and parents, you see some of these kids will tell their parents off, will look into their eyes. I remember those days, my mom, when we go out and we do something wrong, she might not say one word, only just looking at a highball will tell me what she is saying. And most of these children of these days, don't have it. That's it's a form of respect. If you do that to a child now, the child will be asking you, mommy, what's wrong with your eyes? And they'll start making you look like you're so stupid and everybody will know you're trying to caution that child. So we should be able to train these kids on how to respect us. That if I look at you this certain way, if I use this language, these words, you should understand what I'm trying to pass to you. All of that, we don't have it. Just imagine if there are respect between children and parents, you teach them how to greet the Nigerians, the Ghana, the Gambian, the, the different countries in Africa. We all have ways we greet, you know, the, the body language, some we prostrate, some we kneel, some we bow. We don't have that anymore. Don't let anybody take that away from you because we still need that. Even when other people who are not African see us doing that, let me tell you, there's a beauty in it when you gesticulate the form of greetings, respect to people. Secondly, you know, between a man and a woman in the house, like husband and wife or partner, you see, there's this 50-50 thing from the Western world down to Africa, and it's killing our own culture. We shouldn't allow that as well. You see, there's no 50-50 in African culture. The man is the man, and that's one area the Bible or the Christianity has really helped because there's no 50-50 in terms of Africa. You as a woman, you have to respect your husband. Let me tell you, one of the sweetest things in relationship, if you're a woman, still keep the African culture. You have to know how to go to the kitchen. You have to know how to serve your, your husband, you know, in a, in a cultural way. You have to know how to prepare the table culturally. You have to know how to display the food. 
on the table. You know, when the man comes, even the Bible that you believe, the, the religion that you believe, it says you have to see your husbands as your Lord. So <laughs> there's no difference between that and the African culture. You could see that. So you have to keep that going. You have to keep that going. It makes the home. It makes the children begin to learn from their mom, from their dad. You see, don't don't get it wrong when it says, uh, we, we both walk, we both had uh, education, we both are civilized. No, so I can't bow for a man. No, if you keep doing that, you are losing it. And once that man go out there and seek some element of respect out there, and you start telling yourself, your man cheat. If you don't want your man to cheat, let me tell you the truth. Keep the African culture. Every man born in a culture knows that culture and they grew in it and so they want it and men don't disregard the respect these women are giving to you as our father used to do even when our mothers used to respect them our father used to you know go out there make the money bring it home and sometimes you could you could support your partner even in the kitchen while she's cooking you but you know do it lovingly but don't don't be too crazy about the whole thing. So, but make sure you have it in your head that we are Africans and African women, they know how to take care of men. Trust me, if you ever date an African girl, you can tell me. Most of my white folks who have dated the white, the black girls, they will tell you they are treated like king. And that's why their relationship is still there. You see, the, the another one is between children or family you know, to other family like uncles, like the big daddy somewhere, you know, in the community, we still have to keep that. Our children do respect elderly. I watched an interview, I'm not going to call the name, I watched an interview of a musician that was interviewed between he is there, the mom is there and the grandfather. And he had to walk out of that interview. That is unaccepted. It is unacceptable by African culture. As an African culture, you have to respect elderly. Elderly, you just have to give them that respect. You know how to give them a place in, in, on the bus or on the train. You have to stand up. Learn how to stand for elderly. Learn how to help them with their bags. If, it's, if you feel like this is heavy, learn how to do it. These are our own culture that we need to keep, you cannot just look straight to the high of the elderly. It's it's absolutely wrong. You don't talk back on your elderly. You just let them talk and you tend to defend yourself. Don't let us get get it twisted that oh this is 21 century or 22 centuries. No, we have to keep our culture. Like I keep saying, we can modernize and modify our own culture with the education and exposure we are getting out there but we have to keep our culture respect is something that makes the whole world beautiful it makes it beautiful it makes it easy for people to be able to communicate with each other respectfully you see that's why you see even in um, in some of our political gathering, like the National Assembly, you see them in, in Africa. They just feel like, yeah, I'm a degree older, you're a degree older, we voted you there to be a Senate. So who are you to talk to us? And that's why you see them throwing, throwing chairs on each other. We have to respect our leaders. We have to respect those in authority. We just have to respect is something. It's not, and those of you who they give respect, you have to be able to, to earn it. You have to be able to like stand by it and do it rightfully so that people don't disrespect you. Africans, we need to fight to keep our culture. Please subscribe to my channel, like it, share it, and make it go viral. We need to keep our culture. It is very, very important. We are losing it. We are losing the most, especially our new generation. We are losing it. I can't imagine I will talk to my child and my child will be talking back at me or looking straight into my eyes. It is not acceptable. There's a better way we can modify, modernize it, even in our Western world. And those of you out there in Africa, do not over copy the Western culture. They have stolen everything 
So we don't want them to steal our culture away so that we hold ourselves strong so that they don't look down on us, stop copying too much. My name still remains here. You are all on our website, www.educatorafric.com. Find us on our Instagram, find us on our Facebook, on our Twitter. I love you guys and keep it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.